Hello Bonsai friends, it's Mackie and welcome back to our YouTube channel. The last video that I filmed from my Philippine trip is an update on one of the bonsai experiments that my dad did three years ago. I didn't get to film a lot but I made sure that I include this one because this is the most highly requested bonsai of all the bonsai that my dad did an experiment on. I nicknamed it 1M just because it's the first video that reached a million views in the Bonsai Ligon channel. Some of you already know this because I responded to some of the YouTube comments that this video is coming. But to those who don't know, the video that I'm talking about is... Creating Nibari with Split Wire Technique. Enjoy the video. Bonsai lovers all, all around the world, and this is an update of Bonsai Iligan's Bonsai Experiment uh, entitled Creating Nibari with Split Bark Technique. The video was posted uh, way back 2015, and uh, four years later, uh, this is the result. And uh, okay, I will show you. This is now, this is the <clears throat> bark that he split and uh, because, because of that uh, experiment, nobody thought that it would become a Nibari. Okay, let me explain to you what is Nibari because uh, maybe some of us, uh, some of the people who is watching is not uh, oriented what is Nibari. Nibari is the Japanese term for the surface roots. So that's the goal of Bonsai Iligan, Sir Giorgio Dolai, way back 2015 when he made an experiment that maybe, I don't know, nobody does it before. So he made a brave move to do that experiment. So even me, I, I was, I was, you know, even me, even myself, I was, I was doubtful that it could be a, a success, but it's a success. So that that bar, that being the bar that being stripped, all is uh, now now became a nibari. See, I will uh, do some 360 view so that you can see, and the camera can focus on. It. Was the one goal of uh, Mr. Bonsai Iligan is to create uh, the taper, to enhance the taper and to create a nibari. Because as he as he's been saying in the video, uh, that video, that particular video, is the tamarin, the parat tamarin dos indica or sambag in our dialect, sampalok in Tagalog, is very notorious on reverse taper. So, okay, if, uh, if you will not uh, check your tamarin regularly, then you can, uh, <laughs> you will be having some reverse taper. So now, as you can see, we increase the girth of the base, and that uh, bark that being stripped uh, was developed, uh, successfully developed into a nibari. And as you can see here, downside, 
This is the old trunk. You know? This is the line where he uh, stripped the bark. And this is the old trunk. And uh, in that video, as I recall, it was placed before in a, you know, a deeper container, uh, that uh, deeper, the deep uh, training pot. And uh, eventually, Mr. Bonsai Iligan transferred it in this plant, uh, in this uh, bonsai pot. So now this is the update of his uh, successful bonsai experiment that uh, creating nibari with split bark technique. I will show you once again the 360. Later on we will do some wirings and a little grooming for this tamarind to be more and more presentable in your sight. Wiring is done, and uh, the next step will be the we will uh, do the orientation of the branches. We will manipulate which branch will go there, and and 
we have also decided that we will change the front of the tree. Because as of now, the, the front has the narrowest uh, base. So we, we decided, this is the widest base actually, base actually. But this second branch is uh, I cooking, it's our flow of bonsai also, our flow of uh, bonsai design. So we decided that it would, this would be the front. So right after uh, the placement of the branches, we will we will uproot this one. We will repart it to the to our uh, selected uh, front. Okay. We will start manipulating the branches. One of the attributes of tamarind that during night time it will close its foliage. Okay, maybe there's no tamarind in your place, so uh, this is one of the attributes of the tamarind. And it has also, when it age, it has also a very corky part, a good characteristic also of a old and mature tree. And uh, we will do the <coughs> final 360 of the. Uh, this is the <coughs> as as far as we can, you know, as far as we can for to to make this uh, tree beautiful. And eventually, it will develop more and more tweaks, and then it will be made into an apex. Apex, and this is the front of the tree. Okay. This is the front of the tree. And uh, Dodo will uh, repack this one. He will transfer it into a bigger container because uh, we wanted these branches here to be more, I know, to to grow in size. And uh, okay, we will show you the 360 degree. Once again, this is the update of that bonsai experiment, experiment done by bonsai iligan Mr. Joven Dolai, and it was uploaded to YouTube last uh, 2015. And uh, this is uh, four, four years later. This is the the, the appearance of the tree, and uh, hopefully we can make this tree more and more beautiful, and uh, and uh, we will uh, by the next two years. That's our target. In the next three years, it would be, you know, as an entry of our bonsai show here in Mindanao or even in the nationwide show. Hopefully, hopefully. And that's all. Uh, happy bonsai and God bless. That's it, you guys. Thank you all for watching. I apologize that I only get to film four videos. We have to fly to Cebu the next day to attend my sister's wedding. But I want you all to know that this channel is going to continue. 
um, it will still be up and we will try our best to produce more videos in the future with the help of the Illegal Land of Bonsai Society and Dodo. Right now I'm just trying to brainstorm on video ideas and hopefully I'll come up with something new and something that you guys would like. So if you have any requests or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below and I'll pick the most requested video ideas. Thank you everyone for supporting this channel. Till we meet again, happy bonsai!